We're here at the Fair Deal Grocery having a conversation about health equity hosted by State Senator Kimson with a number of African American medical professionals and community leaders. Welcome to it. Hello, how are you doing? It has always been said that in the city of Charleston, you have to come to Fair Deal Grocery. We felt that it was vitally important for Mayor Pete to be here for the people to get to know him. As a state senator of District 42, we're excited about your candidacy. In South Carolina, we are suffering a racial divide. We see strong racial disparities in the experience of the healthcare system. Uh, part of it's what happens in the clinical environment. So folks walk into a doctor's office or an ER. Uh, if a patient is black, uh, they are less likely to have their description of pain taken seriously, for example. What happens in the clinical environment is only part of the story. A lot of it's what happens before somebody ever walks through the doors. Health is largely a function of uh, access to food, access to housing that is physically safe. And so my point is all of these questions of health equity are interconnected. We've got physicians here who are ER doctors, anesthesiologists. When you come to a community-based program like this and deal with professionals who deal with people on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you can't get much better information than this. The health disparities uh, in South Carolina has been a major issue for several years. But South Carolina is at the bottom of the list. Some of these disparities we see in terms of uh, maternal mortality, cancer morbidity, and, and so on, that's even after you control for income. So we're not just talking about economic disempowerment, we're literally talking about just the racial effect in of itself. We're talking about the social determinants. Yeah. Exactly. One of the elements of our Douglas plan for dismantling systemic racism in the United States is a health equity strategy that would fund, to the tune of $5 billion, health equity zones. And the idea here is that individual communities, like Charleston or, or the area around South Bend, put together their own plan because we know the issues are somewhat different in different communities and the answers don't all have to come from Washington but more of the funding should and so the idea is that we would put federal funding into building out these health equity zones when a community puts together a plan. When we focus on even one small community and increase their health outcomes, yep. we increase the health outcomes of the entire community. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you all have taken into account the way that Republicans try to roll back policies, and to the extent that your plan was to be implemented, what in your plan lets it last or have some degree of permanence? If people see it and experience it, then there comes to be a very big political penalty to be paid for frontally attacking a good policy. The second thing is for the long run, this is why we need political reform, right? We need things like a 21st Century Voting Rights Act to make sure that the preferences and values of the people are actually reflected in the policy choices. The bedrock we can fall back on is that our plans aren't just the right plans, they're popular. <laughs> These things we're trying to do have the support of the American majority. If we do Medicare for all who want it, that's the boldest thing we've done to American healthcare in 50 years, and it's actually popular. So let's stand on that and harness it and use it to make sure that there is enough strength that we can get these plans, uh, not only win an election on them, but get them to take root to where the, they can't tear it out even if they want to. Thank you, Thank you for so coming much. to the East Side. Really Thank you. All right. I think these meetings are, are very, very important. It gave the opportunity for individuals to voice their truths. Oh, good Hope to see you again. Same here. Hope to come again. again. All right. Well, hopefully, I can earn your support. Wow. Yeah. Well, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's yeah. make a Pete right. sandwich. Thank you. The ability for Mayor Pete to come here and have this fully engaging, authentic conversation with community members speaks to, to me, his intentionality about ensuring that the messages that he's sharing, the platforms that he's crafting, are rooted in the lived experiences of the most disenfranchised communities that are out there. Sounds good.